I'm going to make a how-to of this lamp project as I make it. I've got a one gallon glass jug that held cider, rubbing alcohol to clean it. I've already washed it, but that helps make it so the paint will adhere better. Uh, a cloth to apply the alcohol with. The design that I want to use is printed out, hopefully in the right size. I've got my paint brushes, a little container that I can mix my paint in, and these are the colors I'm going to be using. I'm using PBO Porcelain 150 to paint on the glass with, and I've got Hold on. The colors are uh, Marseille Yellow for my light. Uh, I use the Marseille Yellow to lighten the Olivine Green and the Mummy Brown. And I have Anthracite Black to darken the green olivine green and the mummy brown as well as the amethyst purple so I've got the amethyst purple for the grapes and um, I'll put various layers on to get different darknesses so a single layer for the lightest color and then I add anthracite black to get the darkest colors and for the um, leaves I'll have the yellow for the lightest highlights and layer on the olivine green and then I can use a little of the anthracite black to make the darkest areas of that and the, all the wood is going to be mummy brown um, mixed with yellow for the highlights and with anthracite black for the dark colors. This was the test bottle that I made first to just help me uh, play with the paints. I'd never used the PBO glass paints before and this helped me get a feel for them and how I wanted to paint this design. This is part of the design only turned vertically instead of horizontally like this. Use rubbing alcohol on a clean cloth to wipe where you're going to paint on your jar or bottle or jug in this case. So wipe the I'm going to wipe the entire thing. I set that jug aside to dry. Actually I'll move the whole paper with it and I'll get my template ready. Um, I have made a fold line here so that I have enough white at the bottom to lift my design up off the bottom of the jug to the height that I want. So I'm going to cut that cut out along that line and I'm going to trim off the extra on the sides. Now I have the template trimmed. I'm going to roll it up so I can poke it into the inside of the jar. Rolled it up, I'm poking it inside the jar. I'm using my um, skewers. Got two skewers, and I'll need to use two hands so I can widen that out. Now I've got newspaper to push down in here and put inside this circle spiral to help push the edges out and keep them up against the glass and hold it in place. But I'll need two hands again. Okay, I have one piece of newspaper down in the bottom and the template is mostly in place. I'll just add more newspaper and position it more with the skewers until I get it just right. Okay, now I've got a lot more newspaper in here now and I'm just repositioning this um, template with my uh, skewer so that the template edge 
lines up with the back seam behind the handle. Okay. I'm stuffing the last of the newspaper in here to help press the top edge of my template up against the sides of the glass. One more piece, I think. And you can see there's a little bit of a gap, but I can kind of adjust for that um, on my own by hand.